admit to you right now that I'm struggling with this a little bit, <clears throat> but I was sitting in the same seat that you are a decade ago, <laughs> and that's, I'm, I'm struggling with that. But this is an exciting time in your life. There are so many new possibilities in front of you, a world of possibilities, in fact, but let's be honest, it is also a time of a little bit of uncertainty. Which college should you choose? What are you going to major in? Are you going to like your roommate? Or maybe more importantly, for your roommate like you? I actually first learned about keys from my dad. Uh, as a student at ECU in the 1970s, my dad dated a peace woman. And that woman is not my mother, but, <laughs> <laughs> but she obviously left a lasting impression as an example of the type of woman peace develops. And so when it came time for me to apply to college, my dad was a very strong proponent of peace, and he really encouraged me to, uh, to uh, apply and attend. And I tend to think he also had some ulterior motives in the fact that there were no boys on campus, but that's just me. I did apply to peace, but truth be told, I applied to other colleges, and as the time got near for me to make final decisions, I really didn't know. Uh, every school I applied to was, statistically speaking, pretty similar, and I was struggling with the decision. And then my actual acceptance letter from Peace College came, and there was a difference. And that difference was an H. It was a letter of the alphabet. I spell Megan, M-E-G-H-A-N. Peace was the only school that I applied to that spelled my name correctly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't necessarily condone making your decision like I did, but I took it as my cosmic sign that if Peace paid attention to the detail of my name, that they would also pay attention to the detail of my needs as a student. And what was a very off-the-cuff, serendipitous decision actually turned out to be the best, most influential choice of my life. From the moment I set foot on this campus, I was not only Megan with an H, but I was an individual. An individual encouraged by faculty members to challenge myself into new areas of academia and to reach for goals that were far beyond my own imagination. And I can see from the reception you had in the uh, main building this morning that that has not changed. But I was also an individual that was further supported, not just by faculty members, but by staff members, who made sure that my personal life was as enriched as my professional academic life. As you spend time on this campus today, you may hear folks talk about the Peace family. And that's a, a pretty accurate and fair summation of what we are. We are a family. I'm fairly certain that few other schools can claim such a thing. Your nuclear family, has fostered your growth and nurtured you through your adolescence to the point that you are now. And for that, remember to thank them. But as you sit here today, on the cusp of adolescence, ready and prepared to enter adulthood, it's the Peace family that will further develop the woman that you hope to become. How did Peace develop me? Well, the list is really far too numerous to recite in the short amount of time that we have together, but just to name a few, uh, through Peace, I had four separate opportunities to study abroad, uh, from Mexico to Italy to Germany and London. I attended international conferences on leadership and presented my own research at a national psychology conference. There were internships throughout the summers and, uh, and work-study programs throughout the semester. I sang with the Peace College Chamber Singers and participated in student government. And all of these opportunities, combined with the constant support of my Peace family, the faculty, the staff, and my fellow classmates that I now consider my lifelong friends, took me from a naive girl with really big dreams into a self-starting woman with the arsenal of tools and skills to make those dreams a reality. And I'm, I'm going to divulge you with a few couple of stories to show you that even as an alumni now, I've been out of school for five years, uh, peace stays with me, and the ties that I made here continue to enrich my life. And I think that's important that you should know, because if you become a peace woman, you're always going to be a peace woman, and you're, uh, one day you'll be a peace alumni. Uh, I'll just for example, um, I attended law school and am a graduate of law school, but when I got ready to attend, I had to fill out that something that you may have to fill out, and it's called the FAFSA form, because I need some financial aid. 
and I had no clue where to begin. And so I called Sean Henderson, who's in the back. Now I was a graduate. I no longer lived on this campus. I wasn't a student anymore. I was not enrolled. But I said, Sean, I have to fill out a basketball form, and I don't know what I'm doing. And he said, come on in. He sat down with me and helped me fill out my application and my for financial aid to law school. Next, Chad's already mentioned the big bashes. Have no fear, girls. I met my husband at the big bash. <laughs> He was, he went to NC State, he was not a dummy, he knew where to come meet the girls. There you go. Um, and uh, <laughs> he still tells people that he had the bright sense to come to Peace College. <laughs> this is more on a somber note. Uh, my grandfather, my family's from Edenton originally, and my grandfather passed about a year ago. And uh, we all went down to Edenton for his funeral. Uh, and I had never actually attended the church that he attended. And what I did not know was that there was a, a fairly large m number of these church members were peace ladies. And these were older peace ladies. These were ladies who um, had been to peace in the 40s and the 50s and even some in the 60s. And so after the funeral, they invited us back to their homes and put on a huge spread for, for my family and I and the guests who traveled to commemorate my grandfather's life. I've never heard, of, because, because, and all because, they found out I was a peace, peace girl and, and, and that my grandfather spoke of that. Um, I've never seen or heard of that elsewhere. And so I think that that's a great example of how peace ties to you personally and academically and helps you throughout the entirety of your life. And finally, this is just a, the last little bit I'll tell you. Peace finds me at, in all of the just strangest and most miraculous ways. I uh, recently bought my first house with my husband, and we were interviewing uh, real estate agents. And uh, parents will understand buying your first home. It's a little stressful. Um, and so we were searching for, you know, who should we use? We weren't sure. Uh, and I had a, a, a friend tell me, a colleague, say, oh, I know this, I know this woman. She's really good. I'll, I'll have her call you. And so she did, and we spoke. And after I had the phone, I was like, okay, good. I like this woman. I think she's going to be our real estate agent. I had no idea she was a Peace graduate at the time. And we got to talking. We were looking for houses, and we both showed up for that first meeting where we were going to go out and look at houses, and we were wearing our rings. And we both went, oh, you went to peace. <laughs> um, and so I was like, I knew I liked you. Uh, and sure enough, she was a phenomenal real estate agent. So those are just some examples, not only of how peace helped me as a student, but how peace continues to be in my life. I think it's an important lesson that you should learn, um, that everyone should learn, that you get out of life what you put into it. And the, true, the same is true for college. You will get out of your college career what you put into it. But I can say that there is no better place than peace to put your whole self in, to learn and to grow. One of my favorite quotations is from Henry David Thoreau, and it says, it he said, it takes courage to grow up and become the, the person that you really are. And peace did that for me. Peace helped me locate the courage within. In all sincerity, I can tell you that my four years at Peace were among the best in my life, and they continue to be a wonderful part of my life. I am positive that should you cho choose to join this family, you will feel the same way. Now, I believe Dean Green is going to direct you to your next session, but as you continue your day exploring campus, we hope that you enjoy discovering all the opportunities that Peace holds for you. Thank you.